Hi, I'm Todd Heitkamp, the owner of Dakota Angler here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, with this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. Well, folks, the, the wind is an unending uh, story to say the least, and it's been beating us up this past week, and it's really affected the number of uh, guys that have been able to go out and hit the water. Uh, but it's, guys have been able to pick and choose when they've been going out, and when they have been going out, guys have had some pretty good success around the area. Up in the northeastern part of the state, the guys that are hitting the, the walleyes up in the lakes like uh, Wabe, uh, Opitz, uh, Swan, Bitter, uh, Blue Dog from shore and from boat, and then also a drive by Clark, and then Pius, Reitz, and Lynn. Uh, and the bite's been pretty good, honestly, at Wabe and Opitz and Swan as the top three up in the northeast. Down the southeastern part of the state, lakes uh, like 81 Ponds, uh, Vermilion, Twin, uh, Madison, uh, Ponset, Thompson, Lake Henry, uh, right by Thompson, has uh, been pretty good from shore. And then also Dry Lake by Willow Lake has been pretty good as well. And what have guys been using to catch those walleyes? Mainly jigs and minnows or jigs and twister tails have been really producing the majority of those fish. And then as far as the Missouri River bite is concerned, guys are really continuing to do well when you're able to get out again. Uh, guys have been uh, doing well for walleyes up and down the river. And what have they been using? Mainly a lot of uh, jigs and minnows. Also guys have even pulled a few plugs in about 10 to 15 feet of water. And then from the shore bite's been picking up. As I mentioned last week, it looks like it's continuing to get better and better. And what have they been using from shore? Uh, jigs and minnows, uh, also casting uh, plugs, casting crankbaits, and then also crappie rigs. So again, it really hasn't mattered lately what you've been using on the river. It has been successful. And if you're looking for a few pike, uh, guys are coming away with some decent pike uh, in lakes such as uh, Swan, Wabe, Thompson, also uh, Ponset has been doing fairly well, and then also Dry Lake by Willow Lake. What have they been using? Mainly live chubs. A lot of guys are casting them out and uh, coming away with some really nice pike. Also, guys, are you also using a few cut baits? Uh, we have plenty of dead chubs that you can stop on by if you're looking for cut bait as well. And now it's time to take a look at a few photos from this past week. And remember folks, if you'd like your photo included in next week's version of the 2 Minute Fishing Report, please send the photo to me, send it to Todd at DakotaAngler.com, or post it to our Facebook wall, and if I use your photo, your name will be entered into a monthly drawing for a $25 gift certificate. And a couple of things before I end this week's report. Uh, first off, i got to let you know of a new special here at the store, that if you buy five Rapplas, I don't care what kind of uh, Rappla it is, if you buy five of them, you get a free t-shirt. So stop on by and take advantage of that special going on here at the store. Also stop on by and take, our, uh, take a look at our wide selection of spinners. I know we're not into the spinner season yet, but it's fast approaching. So stop on in. We can also customize that spinner for you according to what you would like to have and no additional charge. Also, if you're looking at any type of big trip, such as Canada, Erie, uh, the river, you name it, and you need a flat of crawlers or a half pound of leeches or a pound of leeches, stop on by the store or call us here at the store at 605-336-9132 to reserve your bait uh, today. So again, give us a call to reserve it before it's too late. Well, folks, that's this week's Two Minute Fishing Report. For Dakota Angler, I'm the owner, Todd Heitkamp, and as we say around here, fish on. We'll see you next time, and again, thanks for watching. I greatly appreciate it.